As the piles of burnt paper and stationery lay strewn all over his store, Dei Sui Sin could only shake his head in despair, thinking about the fire that destroyed the shop lot that was passed down from generation to generation. We are holding up our father's grand grandfather's legacy. It's okay, you know why? Uncle very easily the tear come out. Too sentimental. The 68-year-old resident estimated his losses at 80,000 ringgit, not including the shop lot. Antiques that were priceless to him, including a weighing machine and a cash register, were also burnt. All paper, paper. Then the safe. Luckily, the safe is intact. After somebody to take it away. His shop was one of the eight lots and 53 houses destroyed in the fire at Kampung Baru China on Friday night. Retired lorry driver, 60-year-old G. Shankar said he panicked when he saw the fire raging upon opening his back door. He said his losses included 12,000 ringgit cash and gold that was supposed to be used for his daughter's wedding next month. Saya pun tak tahu lah apa mau cakap. Ha? Saya pun tak tahu lah apa mau cakap macam mana tu mau minta tolong man. orang lain dua. 71 year old Lau Chang Man also lost the home he shared with two other siblings. Di kat sini ah. Anak perlu lebih lo. Saya saya 5 tahun ah. Kita bulan ni macam solo mari sini. Apa benda lah itu 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 banting dia barang angkat lah. Apa? Itu R. Janaki, who has been living there for 17 years, said at 9 p.m. on Friday night, she went out to investigate the commotion outside her house and was shocked to see a fire raging a few doors away. Five minutes, I came. I came to the house. Oh, five minutes? Five minutes, I came. Then we went to the house. 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 The victims are temporarily putting up with relatives and friends. According to the Pahang Fire and Rescue Department, the close position of the houses to each other was believed to have caused the fire to spread quickly. There were no reports of casualties and firemen managed to bring the blaze under control at about 12.10 a.m.